Hello everybody, my name is Walter and today I want to show you how I can build my 7x7 double vault door you can see here in front of you. So let's start with a little demonstration. As you can see it closes really fast and it opens really fast too. And as a double vault door it looks the same from each side so you don't have to look at any ugly redstone or pistons when it's closed. And I also like the uh, sequence of this. If there aren't really any uh, cafe glitches that uh, make it look a bit strange. Okay, now for the space you will need. Um, the whole thing is 17 blocks wide, has a length of 9 blocks, and is in total 20 blocks high. Now for the resources. Of course you will need a lot of building blocks. Then 17 glowstone blocks and one slab. Of course you can use slabs instead of those glowstone blocks. Then you will need a full stack of obsidian blocks or another immovable block. 43 slime blocks. Then you will need a bit more than two stacks of redstone. 34 redstone torches and 47 repeaters. 4 hoppers, 24 pistons. 79 sticky pistons and to uh, activate and so close and open the door you will need some kind of input in my case i used a lever and to relocate the lever to a more comfortable uh, position i used five redstone but that really depends on your situation okay so now that you know about door and the space requirements and the uh, needed resources let's start with the actual building Okay, so first mark the center of your door. So in the closed door, this block here will be at the very center of the door. And when the door is opened completely, it will be at the floor level. So after you've marked this block here, go down and place a column of five slime blocks and another two to the sides like this. Then we place two temporary blocks, like this. Grab four sticky pistons and place them in an L shape, like this. Then grab your two sticky pistons and place them like this. And finally, put some blocks up like this. Good, so this is the very center part of the doorway. Now let's start with connecting those pistons with some redstone. For this, place a block on the side of this lowest uh, piston here. Put a repeater on four ticks, facing into this direction here. Put a block in front of the repeater. And two below, another block with some redstone on top of it. Then place three blocks like this. Put a repeater on one tick this block and some redstone on top of those blocks. Then put a block up like this with a block behind it with some redstone on top of it. Put a, a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it, just like this. A block here and a repeater on the default setting facing into this block here. Next, put a torch on top of this block put a block on top of it, then grab two obsidian blocks and place them like this, and finally three blocks around like this. Now connect this with some redstone and finally some repeaters under the full setting just like this. Good. Next, put a torch on the side of this block then a block on top of this torch and a torch on the side of it, just like this. Now grab a piece of obsidian and place it like this. Normal block here, another block of obsidian here and another normal block here. Put some redstone on top of those two blocks. Put two normal blocks here to cut off the wire. No 
on a block here, repeat on two ticks like this, then another obsidian block here, normal block here, that's on top of this, and repeat on four ticks like this. Now grab a normal block, put down one like this, place another normal block, followed by an obsidian block, followed by another normal block, Followed by an obsidian block, place an obsidian block here and here. Now place a normal uh, some piece of uh, some redstone on top of this block, followed by two repeaters, one on four ticks, one on two ticks, followed by two redstone like this. Then below this gap, place a normal block with a repeater on two ticks facing into this block here. And down here, face, place another block with a repeater on two ticks. Behind the repeater, place a normal block with some redstone on top of it, like this. Put a torch on the side of this block, then in front and one down of the torch, place a normal block, put some redstone dust on top of this block, put a sticky piston in front of this uh, block, normal block on, front, uh, on top of it, find a block here, and a repeater facing into this block on two ticks. And that should pretty much be all for this centerpiece. So let's take a little lever and try it out. So power it from this point here. And it seems we have, of course, uh, this block here must be an immovable block. Okay, but that's what's experimenting for. Okay, so. Okay, so retracting blocks and extending blocks too. Okay, perfect. Nice. So next, grab two sticky pistons and place them like this. So one on top of this redstone here and one right beside it. Then grab some slime blocks and place five like this. Put some normal blocks on top of those blocks. Then grab five sticky pistons and place them to the sides like this. And finally some more blocks on top of those blocks. Okay, so now place three blocks like this. Below the gaps another few blocks. Then we need our torch. So one torch here, one torch here, and one torch here. Finally, some redstone on top of this block. Now all those sticky pistons should be extended. Then put a block down below this torch here, and the torch is like this. Now just mirror this to this side. So uh, two sticky pistons like this, then five slime blocks. Normal blocks on top, sticky pistons to the side, normal blocks on top, three blocks, then another few blocks down below, redstone this block, torch, torch, and torch, block below, like this, and torch here. Okay. Okay, so next go to this corner here, place a block down like this, then another two blocks up like this, put a repeater facing into this block under the full setting, on top of this block a torch and on top of this block some redstone. Now grab a sticky piston facing upwards and place it like this, put a normal block on top of it. Now it's time for the slab, place it to the side of the piston here, upside down, just like this. Put a repeater on three ticks facing away from this sticky piston here and run it into a normal block like this. Now go to the block with the torch on top of it, go one down, place a normal block, then grab a piece of glowstone and place it like this and to the sides of it place some normal blocks and finally place four redstone dust like this. Now on this side we have a similar circuit, so this time we can place a normal block here, 
with a repeater on three ticks facing outwards, running into a block, then one block down here, piece of glowstone going upwards again, block here, then three blocks out and two blocks to the side, like this. So finally place some redstone, dust, and run the line into this block with the torch on, uh, on the side of it. Just like this. Okay. So next, grab a piece of obsidian and place it on top of this repeater here. Put some redstone dust on top of it and on top of the redstone another piece of obsidian. Then two more in those corners here. Then grab a normal block and place it on top of this uh, torch here. Torch on the side of it and a block on top of this torch. Then two blocks here. Place another block in this gap here. Then place four blocks like this. Two blocks here. Another four blocks here. And another three blocks here. Like this. Now grab a few repeaters. Place two like this, one on the default setting, one on four ticks, then one on three ticks here, one on the default setting here, another one on three ticks here, and one on four, and one on one tick, like this. Finally connect those with some redstone. And that should do the trick. So now let's try it out. As you can see, those Pistons extend all like it should, and that works also perfectly. Nice. So, next, let's relocate the lever to a more uh, useful position. So, uh, let's go out one, and then let's, let's go up with a little stairs, put some redstone top of those blocks and finally grab a lever and place it just like this. And perfect. So now we can fill in the floor before we start with the walls. So for this go to these gaps here and place a little U shape with two accents to the side made out of immovable blocks, for example obsidian. And the rest just fill in with normal blocks just like this okay so now i will be showing you how to build this side here the other side is exactly built the same i have just to mirror what i'm doing here so for this go to the center here and one up, leave a one wide gap, just like this, and place a row of four blocks like this. Then go one down and place another four blocks, then a uh, further row of three blocks and another block up here. Now go to the end of this row, place a block two blocks below, torch here, torch on each of those blocks, then a repeater on two ticks on this block here, a repeater on two ticks on this block here, a repeater on four ticks on this block, and finally fill it with some redstone like this. So now grab a piece of obsidian and place it on top of this torch here. On top of the other torches place just normal blocks. Then go to this block here and place two sticky pistons like this. The same on this side here. On the sticky piston at the back, place another normal uh, sticky piston, just like this. Then go down here and place a column of four sticky pistons, just like this. The same on this side here. So uh, just like this. Then grab normal pistons and place them just like this, so at the same position as the bottom two of this column or as those pistons here, 
just like this. Good. Next, grab some slime blocks and place them just like this. And finally, fill in the space here with some normal blocks here. Just like this. Okay. Okay. Next, grab two sticky pistons and place them on top of those normal pistons here. Same on this side. And on the side of those sticky pistons, place normal pistons, just like this. Then in front of the sticky pistons, some slime blocks. And finally, fill in this whole thing with some normal blocks. Now, grab some obsidian blocks, place two like this, then another two in this gap, two to the side and two to this side here, and finally top it off with some redstone uh, obsidian, just like this. Now you can fill in the front with normal blocks. Come on. Just like this. Now it's finally time to connect those pistons with some redstone. For this, we go down here, place a normal block like this, place a block besides it, uh, since we will be putting some redstone on top of it and we want to cut the wire here. Then go up one, put some redstone dust on top of those blocks, a piece of glowstone up here with uh, some redstone on top of it, just like this. The same on this side. This time we don't need the extra block here to cut some wire. Glowstone and redstone on top of those blocks. Okay. Now put blocks to the sides of this torch here. Then run some repeaters outwards, both on four ticks, just like this. Run them into normal blocks, just like this. Go up one block to each side. Come on. Put a torch on the side of this block here. Then a piece of glowstone on top of this torch. Torch on top of this block. Torch on top of this block. Torch on the side of this block here. Piece of glowstone on top of this block. Redstone on top of those blocks block here, ah, sorry, block down here, with a repeater on two ticks, same on this side here, repeater on two ticks, and finally block on top of those blocks here. Okay, now the wall should be flat again. Now it's time for the hoppers. Grab two and place them in those corners here. Then place two obsidian just like this. A block up here. Now grab two glowstone blocks and place them like this. Then place on the obsidian blocks two repeaters on two ticks. On the hoppers and those blocks here. And finally this block down here. Place some redstone. And now we can actually try if this works. So for this, just place a lever on this block with the torch and activate it. And as you can see, if we combine it with the bottom one, bottom part here, it works perfectly. Okay. Now we have just to repeat this process on this side and copy this wall. Okay. And now it should look something like this. Okay, next let's connect the walls and the floor. For this, just run a line up like this, right into this block with the torch. Um, put a repeater on this block here, so that um, the signal is sure to travel till the end. The same we want to have on this side here. So 
from here, go down one block, place the repeater where otherwise the torch would power some red, uh, the redstone line here, and finally run the whole thing up just into this block here. Okay. And as you can see here, this is the reason why we wanted a slide to have here. Okay. And now let's give it a final try. And it works perfectly. Okay, you can actually play a bit with the timing of those two repeaters here. So if you make them a, lit, a bit more delay, you can play around with the sequence here. The only thing you have to uh, make sure is that both repeaters are in the same state. So if both are on one tick or four ticks or whatever you want. You can even put more repeaters in here, uh, but make sure that the delay in both on both sides is the same. That will be uh, important later on when we build the ceiling. Okay, so now let's start with the ceiling. For this, um, let's go up from this corner here, two blocks, and place a row of uh, seven steel pistons facing downwards, just like this. The same on this side, of course. Come on. Just like come this. Now go to the center and place one above a row of three normal pistons, like this, followed by a row of three sticky pistons, the same one. Move over to this side here, so just like this, and finally the normal pistons, like this. Now grab some slime blocks, place them below those six uh, sticky pistons, then grab normal blocks and place them below the pistons, just like this. Then grab your obsidian blocks, place three in this gap here, and four more around like this. And finally we can now fill in the rest of the ceiling, just like this. So now let's connect those pistons. For this to go to one side, first place a block down in the middle like this and a block up here. Then run some redstone along and connect it to the side like this. Grab a glowstone block and place it on top of this block here. Put some redstone on top of it and run this into a block with torch on each side. Then put a block here with some redstone dust on top of it. Run this into a, a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it. Put a block here with a repeater on three ticks. Mirror this to the side here. Just like this. Then run a line of blocks with a final glowstone block and put some redstone on top of those blocks. Just like this. Now go to the other side here and first place two obsidian blocks like this, then put a redstone dust on this block. Repeat on two ticks facing into this redstone here, then two repeaters on the obsidian here on four ticks each. Run two normal blocks along like this, and finally connect it all with some redstone, just like this. And that should do the trick. So let's try it out, and it works perfectly. 
Just like internet. Okay. So, the last thing you might want to do is filling in some walls and ceiling. So, the redstone isn't really visible when the door is closed. But nevertheless, that was how you can build my 7x7 double walled door. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and well, see ya!